done by K2. Um, Should make an announcement first before you. Yeah, I've, I've posted it on Rocket Bugs, but uh, I don't know if you know. no one can write an announcement now. Uh, I don't know if Toxos can. Uh, I can do it. Oh, an announcement? Just yeah, an announcement if you can write that. Uh, like now. Uh, we have some viewers already. So... I wait for the announcements to go uh, knock out and then I start. Sounds good. There we go. Um, so welcome to Clutchcast number two. Uh, this week we will have Ryan with us and Knockout um, as guest with me. Um, I have a very, very nice um, uh, intro uh, that has been made. Uh, I let you guys listen to it. Fucking easy, easy, dude! Easy, dude. <laughs> uh, there we go. It's a 30 seconds intro that have been made by K2. It's a very good one. So everyone, you can uh, listen to this one. Welcome to episode two of the Clutch Cast. Tonight's agenda is filled to the brim with analytics from previous games, predictions for upcoming matches, we'll discuss which group is more stacked than the other, and we'll talk about the teams in the ICTF Open Cup. Guest interviews with Helta and Knockout Dad. Here is your host of the evening, Mr. Jerome of the Insane Fragging Squad, Noah Sue. Hey, that was good. Yeah, you did a good job with that. Um, pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, that's K2. K2 did that in one day, so that's very good. Um, so today we will talk about, in this episode, so we'll talk about the previous results uh, from the Invite he's Cup. He's a master. With Ryan, uh, we will be able to talk about it because he played in one of that game. Um, then we'll talk about the other vote, uh, or the other games that happened, and we'll try to vote for a player of the match in both games. Um, then we will have that debate about which group is the most stacked in the Invite Cup, Group A or Group B, even though I think we had more games in Group A so far. Um, we'll do prediction for the upcoming matches in Invite Cups. Uh, I think it's going to be, uh, if I have a look, um, the two games have been scheduled already, uh, so we'll talk about those two games. And uh, we will uh, give the spotlight a little bit to the Open Cup with Noga out here with us, who is the admin of the Cup. Um, the draft has been done after the salaries have been worked on, so we will go through the full process of it. And we will uh, talk about each team and who we think are um, going to go through the group stage um, to go to the playoff. So we will have a poll directly on Clutchcast to thread on Discord. So everyone will be invited to vote for each team final ranking expectation uh, when it comes to the group stage. Um, that will take quite some time. So uh, we don't have any specific topic for the Yuchi talk uh, for this episode. Um, there will be an episode probably next week about the top five 
Thank you, Ruthless. Uh, there will be um, uh, an episode about the top five of all time for each country. So this will be probably a big debate uh, because every era are quite different when it comes to UT skills. Um, but we will try to make a top five of all time per country. Uh, I will have some guests with me who are very knowledgeable about the history of, uh, of the scene over the time. So um, that will be good. Uh, we will have an open questions to the guests, so you can ask any question to Ryan or to Knockout or to myself if you want. And finally, to close that episode, we will go and review the last clips that have been posted on UT99 clips on Discord. Um, so Ryan, Knockout, you guys were ready for it. Thank you again for being uh, part of the show for this episode. Um, yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah, really. yeah, glad to be here. Thank you, thank you. So um, we will start with the cup talk. So I want to go through the um, the the results from last week. Uh, so we will talk about two games that happened there. So we had the fake IFS. <laughs> let's let's call them like that. I will call them like that because yeah, you know <laughs> why. Uh, against UC. So, of course, when I say like this, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about, but it's Sadino's team against Humpty's team. I think it's Humpty's the captain, correct? But yes. Humpty didn't play on that game. So, turn your mic up a bit, Jerome. Okay, uh, one sec. Uh, I can't, I'm at max. <laughs> um, I'll, re I'll re speak louder. So, Humpty didn't play for his team, and his team still managed to win with two tier C players. Uh, if we can call them Chelsea, because they had an amazing performance. I'm I'm seeing the screenshot. I couldn't watch the game in live, but I see Onado had a crazy game, and uh, um, Frenchy also played very, very good. But was this result a surprise to you, uh, Ryan? Uh, honestly, no. It was. I saw the match as kind of a coin flip, but uh, I do like Humpty's team. Uh, I think they got good chemistry there, and who knows, maybe the uh, player of the match in reality was Humpty for not showing up. I don't know, because they perform, <laughs> they perform really well, and it's they played through some struggles, too. Um, I was able to go through the VOD today, like on Akrony. IFS got the first cap of the game, which in invite matches, as you know, they are, it's key, getting that first cap, yeah. and... Uh, IFS, fake IFS had that, and they weren't <laughs> able to hold on, despite, uh, we all know how Sedino plays, and they also had a lead, once again, 3-2, uh, to two with five minutes left on Akrony, and um, with only a minute, a minute after that, uh, Humpty's team was able to come back and tie, so it shows a lot about their team, mm -hmm. you know, not giving up when they're down even late, and I don't know, I think they uh, might continue to do well going forward. Yeah, definitely. And the the fact that um, UC still managed to win on the UK server is quite surprising because they have high yeah. fingers, definitely. Um, yeah, it's a, a rough start for uh, Salino's team, for sure, and quite an upset. I think if I look back on the Clutchcast episode number one, the thread is still available on Discord. Um, if I scroll up to the prediction for Sadino gets empty we had four well 13 people voted for Sadino to win this game only five voted for empty so congratulations for the good prediction for Chubbs, Tox, Stone Cold, Chromaniac and Gamer Tom the Bomb I have no idea who that is um, <laughs> so yeah at least you did the right prediction so um, maybe an unknown player call. but a good better for sure uh, so yeah, yeah I, I predicted Sadino's team to win as well. Yeah, especially when yeah. They, they were lacking the CEO of Akroni that has been voted 16 times in the poll that we did just later in that Clutchcast episode. Uh, 16 people voted for Umpty as the CEO of Akroni and his team still managed to win Akroni without him. So... Yeah, that's impressive. Like, what do they do now? What what happens if in their next match, Humpty plays and they lose? I mean... <laughs> aye, aye, aye. He can be demoted to not CEO of Akroni. Um, oh, for sure. Yeah. But the, good, the, the thing is that UC still picked Akroni without Humpty being available. So that's, yeah, that's quite interesting. confident. That's, that's quite yeah. confident. So um, I don't know if Knockout, if you've watched that game, if you have any uh, input about it. Maybe you are busy with the draft uh, Open Cup. Uh, I'll be honest with you. I worked a lot on the rankings that week. I can and imagine. I took the yeah. weekend off and I went to the mountains and I just fight the entire weekend. So the only thing I got to see was Bat's clip. 
uh, yeah. over the weekend, which is pretty fantastic. But I don't have much more intel than that. I, I'm, I'm with you. Well, I have no excuse. I was not doing anything, but uh, I still didn't watch the game. Um, now I want to talk about the second game that happened. And Ryan, you will be able to talk very much about it because you've played in it. Uh, we could see VPB, aka Nuke's team, beat the five, aka Kaiser team. I've seen a lot of uh, um, Discord talk about it. Um, what do you think about this game? I, I will okay. ask you in one minute because I can't have my Discord showing on the, the Discord, on the stream. I will restart Discord now so I can see the Discord window in uh, Streamlabs. So I, I come back in one minute. Not even one minute. Ten, give me 10 seconds, guys, okay? Up, Discord. I need to restart the Discord thing. Um, because I can't see the... the the window. I hope I ah uh, yeah I I I can't see the Discord uh window here. Let me see if I had a new source. Um, sorry about that, guys. Window capture. A new one. And I can't see disc. Ah, oh, there we go. All right, that should be good. And voila, it's fixed. All right, so I just need to adjust the size of it now. There we go. And drag it down, down. Mm, here. All right, sorry for people who are very... Yeah, I know it's not exactly inbound. Sorry, but at least for people who will watch the VOD, because I understand it's a bit late. Um... Let me join back the guys on the channel. There we go. I've managed to fix. So now for people on the VOD, we'll be able to see the Discord channel. Sorry, it's uh, a bit out of the design, but you understand I can't really do that now on live. Um, oh, that's unacceptable. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we, with more donation, obviously, we would have more. Uh, <laughs> you can expect yeah. more quality. The, the, the but it's falling, a... boys. We, we need some subs. We have Prime no sponsorship. We have nothing. <laughs> very, Get very uh, broke. Yeah, just send subs, guys, and uh, we will have a more perfect stream. Um, so, yeah, Ryan, so what, what are your takes about this game? I can say that uh, I can see that um, you picked Rune. And uh, TF picked over. Uh, TF picked overflow. Um, oh, thank you, Supi. Um, so hey. you, it started with overflow as the first map. Is that correct? Yeah, overflow was uh, the first map. And by the way, I think in the poll for this match, uh, TF was also picked to win. So uh, no one knows what the hell they're talking about predicting matches. Was it, uh, I think it was much closer. No. It was uh, very close. Yeah, I think nine. it was with the I one. see. Yeah, ten to nine. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, well, first of all, um, both um, teams did a really good job of banning maps. Uh, we banned Command and um, and TF banned Nuance, and Nuance was our planned map pick against them. Mm -hmm. um, we're quite strong there, and we saw that they were kind of struggling a bit in scrims on that map. So that was our planned pick, so good job by them banning that one and i found out from talks today that their plan map pick actually was command so we we made a proper uh map ban on that as well so props to both captains on that and then um yeah overflow i didn't expect uh that map pick necessarily i for some reason i was thinking they were going to pick amphra um uh -huh. so, also would have been so a good pick with uh tox uh who is quite quite good on it uh kaiser yeah. chromaniac so that could have worked for them yeah yeah, I think they have a pretty good team for there. I, I don't know, maybe the the CEO of Anfra, Bungie, no one no one can handle him when he's standing on that on the flag stand there. That's so very true. Maybe maybe that's what steered them away from uh, picking it. <laughs> it was it was a logical pick overflow in a lot of ways. They do have a good team for it. Um we it's one of the maps we haven't actually scrimmed together as a team. Uh, so anyway, like the it went pretty well, like getting that early lead is key, and then we were able just to build on it from there. Rummy did a great job on attack, keeping yeah, pressure. I see that. Uh, so what was the plan to start? I, I haven't watched the game, I'm sorry about it. I, I know that you streamed it and I, I couldn't watch the VOD yet. But I see that um, you guys basically went with two offense and three more of a defender. Oh, 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 was that, uh, was that the plan from start? Or did you add uh, one very fast cap and you just decided to try to lock it down even though Overflow is a difficult one to lock? It, it is a tough one to lock and it's a little bit of both. Like the, the initial plan uh, is just Bungie and I 
on D and, you know, Nuke is playing a bit more of control, helping attack and defense and Dewey and Rummy doing the primary grabbing there. And then when you get that early lead, Nuke has the ability to play more defensive yeah. and allow those two guys to keep grabbing, right? So it worked out uh, pretty well on that one. Yeah, for sure winning the opponent's map pick is always uh, very good for, for, for to start the game. Uh, you went with Rune. Um, was there any other map you had in mind? Or without saying it, obviously, but or was Rune your immediate choice? Or I, I have no, I have no idea about the TF band. Uh, what, what did they ban? But um, was Rune like an immediate option that you wanted to go with, or was it a bit tricky to pick Rune against them? Uh, no, like I said, uh, our planned map pick was Nuance, and okay. they banned it, so that was uh, smart by, by them to ban Nuance, and honestly, we didn't really, that was one kind of lapse by us, we didn't have an exact plan B if Nuance was banned, um, so we just kind of, after they banned it, we just discussed it briefly on voice, and Rune was what we came up with, and not for really any particular reason, we just... Yeah thought we had a better team for the map that's it and, and it that was uh out. obviously it worked out. one zero for for you guys so that's a very good start for sure um so that's the two games that happened in the open the invitation uh cup so far in the last the previous week now i want to talk about the future and the future we will have um let me get the map the okay so it starts on, with a game on saturday night so that's quite rare um saturday night we will see no one so that's fonzie's team they will play against mm. fsg that's put the team uh as a reminder fonzie teams features fonzie matt teta ram drop audio stongs and fractal uh they will play against put the riven kangsta toby grim reaper and unreal do you have any um, uh, prediction for this game? Oh, man. It's tough. There's a lot of unknown with Fonzie's team. I, on paper, it looks pretty good, but Ramdrop's been really inactive. Uh, Meteta doesn't play as much, and he doesn't seem quite as dominant as he used to be. Um, I, the map picks always are going to be really key here. I, th I think, uh, like, if I had to pick, I would go... With Putsy's team, uh, just because the chemistry is going to be there between Putsy and Riven, I think Kangsta, if he performs at his top level as a tier B, is going to be a great underrated pick for them there. And they they have a good balance. Their D should be strong. Uh, Tolby and Putsy, or if they they rotate in Unreal or whatever. Um, yeah, I, I think their team is, is pretty well rounded, and I, I would go with uh, with Putsy's team mainly because Ram Drop and and. And Meteta have, have not been very active lately. Yeah, that's very true. Uh, guys, you can vote on the Clutchcast number two thread that is just below Clutchcast channel on Discord. Uh, the poll is created. I see so far only votes for Puzo's team uh, when it comes to the prediction. Um, I think it will be more balanced that we can fix because Fonzi, as a tier C player right now, is playing way, way above yeah. what's expected from him. Uh, mm -hmm. Run yes, drop yeah. can always clutch something out. I think the one who is struggling the, the most lately on his team is Fractal. Uh, if you compare with Fractal's performance that he had in the previous season with AX, he was one of their best players. Um, mm -hmm. This season is not hitting as much as before. Maybe he's suffering from the stutters thing that we uh, seem to be having, uh, uh, many players seem to be having lately. Um, so I think map pick will be key, but that can be said for pretty much every single match in this uh, cup. Uh, knockout, if you want to give any prediction, who would you go with between Fonzie's team and uh, Putz's team? Uh, I love a good underdog story, and I think Fonzie could pull it out. Uh, I do. I never bet against Ramdrop. Ramdrop has proven too many times yes. to just be that X factor, so it's really hard for me to bet against. Uh, I guess it really depends on Putsy's rage factor, right? <laughs> if Putsy has a meltdown or something like that, yeah. like we have seen in the past, that could be a problem for the team. It could just mess up your momentum and stuff. That's true. Uh, so I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call Fonzie on this one, just because I believe in that Ted and Ram. Yeah, that's 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 very possible. Murder asking where to vote. Murder, it's just below. Uh, you have a thread. There will be a thread by episode. So it's just below the Clutchcast channel. You can see Clutchcast, Clutchcast number two. That's why you can vote. Uh, 
funny thing she went with it. Okay. Perfect. There he is. Like um, a fucking grim with the troll. <laughs> the troll number two pick in there. God damn it. Uh, it's really it's uh, really uh, nine. Nine to one, I think, is the poll right now. Yeah, well I'm it's uh, there's nothing to win, no coin, no no uh, cyber coin to win in those kind of polls. But it's just to have an ID. Um like most likely people forgot that Putzo doesn't like to see his team underrated. Uh, so they went with the... <laughs> love PG the one. <laughs> Two six rating made him leave PG Yeah, <laughs> so let, let's keep Putzo happy for this one. Uh, another game that has been confirmed is Team What Else? So that's Finals team against uh, Team Exe, that's Count's team. Uh, for Count's team, is going to be the second game and it's already a crucial game because they've lost the first match uh, against Ju6 team, Mims United, 0 2. So, this one, in a group of five teams, if you start with two losses already, like, probably you're already in very, very, very bad position to qualify. While it will be the first match group, uh, the match uh, for the group stage for team finals, uh, aka team what else. Uh, so, the list of the teams on what else teams, uh, there is Finals, Myself, Evolution, Miss, I Spies, and Extreme. On Exist team, it's Skarn, Vincenzo, aka Solid Snake, uh, Apocalypse, Phoenix, DB, and Naru that I haven't seen playing so far. So, I guess we already oh. know the lineup that they will be using. Um, Ryan, what's, what do you think of this game? Yeah, I haven't seen Naro play since the IDOM Cup, I don't think. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's... He didn't play against you're... Juice 16. No, he didn't. And you're right, it kind of... It's only the second uh, match, but in a way, it's it's sort of a must-win. It, it, for uh, EXE's Garn team, they don't want to go down 0-2. That's going to be a tough way to make the playoffs. Uh, in terms of predictions, it's really hard to predict... Uh, I'm going to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of Skarn's team overall. It, uh, they did have a good show against Do6, so for some reason, I don't know, I'm just not a big fan. Um, I, I think with what else, having nearly the same team that they had last year going to the finals, it, being familiar with players is huge uh, in these cup games. Chemistry is massive, and I think that is going to give them a bit of an edge here as long as they pick and ban properly. Um, I would imagine they're going to want to go... For a ban on either Rune or, or Akron here, it's going to be a tough call which one to ban there. But mm -hmm. yeah, it should be a good match. It's a, it's a tough one to predict. Uh, I would go with what else uh, that would be my pick. All right, that's uh, I, I, I'll take that uh, prediction. <laughs> um, <laughs> Noga, if you want to give a prediction for this game, which one you would go to? Um, I mean, you got to take the hot hand, right? So what else would probably be the hot hand at this point? Uh, but at the same time, what Skarn's team would have to do is just figure out ways to stop the momentum of the, your offense, essentially. Mm -hmm. And if they could just chip away at that, you know, cause little stutters here and there, then I can definitely see them, like, going up 1-0 and then just, you know, trying to squeeze it out. Because really, like you're saying, if you get to this point, you can't go down 0-2, right? Yeah. So exactly. you're going to have to play very passively. You're going to have to play very, not passively, but you're going to have to play kind of aggressive and kind of defensive. And you're going to have to make sure you make smart. Uh, decisions on clearing the base and you have to make decisions on the mid and you know just trying to do the right thing it will be so, very clutch it will be very clutch they sure. also have a match with putsy right after so uh it's gonna be a hard road ahead regardless. yeah that's rough. That's, the, rough that's that's the perfect transition now um so people you're invited to vote of course in the um the clutch cast number two thread uh you can click on one if you think the finals team will win or on two if you think scouts team will win uh, and that's raised the question. So, in your opinion, and that will be a tough call, I think, which group is the most stacked in the Invite Cup? Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, I hate, I hate to say it because I'm not in this group, <laughs> but I think it's it's Group E. I think is the strongest. You have the two captains that went to the finals uh, last year, both in that group. Two six team is in that group, which, in my opinion, is one of the strongest teams in the whole cup. Uh, and you also, of course, have Scar and, and Fonzie's teams there, which, of course, are no pushovers. The team that group is stacked as fuck. I, I don't, I don't think there's any way you could not say Group E is the strongest in this cup. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, I, let me check that one thing. Uh, actually last cup, it was EX in the final. So it would be Bungie, uh, and Bungie's group A. 
That's, oh yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, of course, that, I'm forgetting. My own, my own teammates were there. The yeah, top, fuck those guys. The top four, <laughs> the top four of last uh, season, it had Putze, Wattles, and Scorn, and yeah, three of the four are in the um, the group B. Um, that's right. Yeah. For some reason, I was thinking it was you guys and uh, Ponty's oh, team, but no, that was no, no. the uh, semis, right? Yeah. So. Um, <laughs> You guys, you can vote directly on most stack group poll on Clutchcast number two. Uh, as a reminder, in group A, uh, we have UC, who already won the first game. Uh, let me put the right window so you can see it. There we go. So you see, it's kind of hard too because we haven't seen anyone really play yet. Yeah, right? that's the thing. But it's it's it's, it's harder to schedule before the games happen. <laughs> well, to, yeah, to, exactly. to predict. Uh, so yeah. uh, you see, empty team is already number one, and uh, I think a lot of people underrated them. Uh, I think even in the prediction that has been written by, my, I think it was finals who wrote the group A prediction. Um, mm -hmm. He wrote that uh, for UC, 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 uh, Chim Humpty. Uh, it will be tough, but ah, it didn't go with a, a, a specific uh, ranking at the end. Um, it just went over, over a quick analysis of each team. But I think he, he, no one would put UC at the top of the group. It's only one game played for sure, but uh, still. So UC, Humpty's team, we have Nuke's team as well. LGM hasn't played yet. That sleep team of the UK guys and Revolt. Um, yeah, we played. They haven't played so. Yeah, they haven't played yet, and I feel like they have a, quite a strong team. Even though I, uh, yeah, I I think all the players are a little bit too much of the same kind of players. There's uh, a change on that roster since today. Yeah, later it came in for Iron, <laughs> so that gives them more versatility. Also, uh, have giving them uh, a good edge if they have to play on a UK server. That could happen against UC. Um, it's a good, that's a stacked attack, isn't it? Like you, yeah. you play that team, there's going to be incoming pressure nonstop in your base. So that's their strong point for sure. Uh, I forgot two games. Yeah. Which two games I forgot? Uh, Tox, if you. Let me know. I, I see only two that have, con have been confirmed on the website, and I can only go with the games that are confirmed when it comes to scheduling. Um, so if you want to write me in the chat, I can give the pre I can set up the poll, but I, I'm not aware of games that have are under schedulement right now. Um, I can only see what's confirmed on the website. So uh, yeah, let me know if in the chat if you can tell me, uh, and I can do the prediction. Mind versus sleeps. Um, Okay, so, well, I, 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 okay, so we have VPB against LGM, that's correct? So yes. That's, that's the next match? Okay, so I'll do a poll to create it, poll, uh, nuke versus slips, uh, nuke, slips. There we go. The poll is created, guys. Uh, so we, let's let's talk quickly about it because I don't want to, that that cast to be only focused on the Invit Cup uh, because we have a lot of things to say about the Open Cup that uh, also features the rest of the scene, which is bigger because it's not the invitation one; it's the open one. Um, I see in the chat you guys are saying TF against SDN on Tuesday not confirmed will happen tomorrow. Okay, will happen as you as it will be confirmed Wait, tomorrow. That'll be a good match. Okay, so TF against SDN. Well, that's going to be a very very important match for both teams because both teams. That's lost a huge match. Game. Yeah, they're yeah. both coming off a loss, right? So and... I'll create it now. Uh, Kaiser ver uh, Paul create Kaiser versus Sadino. Kaiser Sadino. Up. This one is going to be tough. It's a total opposi opposition of style for me. I feel like TF yeah. is more CTF oriented, while IFS, fake IFS, sorry, are uh, a bit more frag heavy. Um, yep. Yeah, it's very That's... difficult to, to predict because the map picks, <laughs> as usual, will be key in this one. Uh, I know of that course. both teams are, are practicing and screaming a lot. So. Uh, I'm sure the teams are also looking after their opponent and check on UT stats, uh, what they're doing on which maps and stuff. Um, preparation is key in those kind of games. Um, if, if I have forgotten any game, let me know, but I think that's the two uh, talks uh, you, you mentioned that I've, I've missed. So guys, you can vote for them on uh, the Clutchcast Discord. Well, the, the, well the Kaiser are up in a, a landslide right now. I expected it, that voting to be a bit closer, to be honest. I, I also would predict Kaiser's team yeah. to win that. I, I think they're 
they're they're really good. Like we just played against them. They're a very very strong team. They they're smart CDF players, and uh, perhaps that's why they're getting most of the votes here. I, I think CDF's team is a bit too defense orientated. They don't really have a super strong uh, flag runners there. Inox, yeah, probably the only one, and he's not going to be fragging as much. But um, I think that's what they're lacking a bit. They're just a bit too defensive overall. I think is is going to be their main issue. But th that style can definitely win games, especially if they get up. Uh, the first cap that's that's very true um so let's wrap it up with the uh, invite uh thing we will skip the player of the match votes for now because it's uh we we can't really go after all of them uh when we want to talk about the open cup also uh so we went through we've gone through the results from previous week the poll for which group is the most stacked is on uh the prediction for upcoming matches has been done sorry i didn't know about the um game who have who are under uh scheduling and not confirmed yet uh so now it's going to be the biggest focus of this episode is the focus on the open cup so um that's the best thing is that we have the main admin for it with us so knockout can um talk about it um so the the biggest part of the draft for everyone is definitely the salary stuff because that's how you can manage to create your team uh, yeah. i've read the rules about the every player needs to play at least five maps if i'm not wrong so that's a very yeah. good one to to add because i feel like otherwise you could just because you play with five and you can select six you can play you can pick up the worst salary basically and then fill up the five best players you, you could but at least with that rule added everyone will be able to participate which is the point of the open cup uh, i love the logo by the way so i just see it now i love it very well done um so knockout if you can talk to me about i i've seen the the, the ranking and the salaries took quite a lot of time how how was the full process for you how did you manage to set it up well if anything I've learned in 24 years of UT is everybody has an opinion, right? <laughs> and, <laughs> and you know, we've done a lot of, I've, I've been a part of a lot of, Helta, uh, Ryan's been a lot of part of different ones from like ProU back in the day and mm -hmm. when we ran our stuff in North America. So I'm very big proponent of community feedback. So what I did originally was I said, hey, I need some volunteers for this ratings and rankings just oh, to sure. see what, you know, as many people I could grab. The biggest net you can get, the more data you can grab. I'm a big proponent of data. And everyone plays so much, so many pugs that obviously you have more data from them also, so that helps. Yeah, and the other part of it is, is like, you know, first off, there was a conversation of like, well, why don't you just e use ELO? And I was like, well, ELO is kind of, it's kind of like a false story, right? Yeah. There's variables. I've only played like three pugs and I'm at like 2,000 right now, right? But I probably would go up or down depending on, you know, depending on how many I play. But that also depends on like who's on my team, who's on the other team. Is there champions Absolutely. players on the other team? Is there champions? Yeah. Am I playing on US? Am I playing on European? Because I ping 140 European. I'm 50% of a player on European servers, yeah. right? So it's all that different variable. So what I just want to do is do community feedback. So the way I did it is I had seven people who volunteered. You know, I can't, I can't force people to rate, but I can ask That's people. Cool. And then from there, um, I posted the first initial draft of what everybody kind of averaged out originally. And I said, hey, this is what we look at. You know, give me feedback. And that's what I wanted. And then, you know, some people turned into a lawyer, right? They're like, oh, man, I'm so bad. Here's my screenshots. Here's my stats. I'm, I'm the fucking worst at UT. I'm so bad. And like in my mind, it's funny, right? Because like I read it and I'm like, some of these people like want to be in champ pugs. Some of these people want to play like with the invite people. Yeah, you it's want to serious. argue to have a lower rating. Yeah, group. some people they want to have a high salary because then they can brag about being the best player of the dark cup. But also some of them they want to be underrated so they have a better team. It's different mindsets. It's either you think about the teams that you end up in, or you think about of oh, yourself. You can be seen as one of the best player of the cup. Uh, I've seen that exactly. some uh, soft champions, well, I, I call them champions, but people who were in the invite cup and were not picked been dragged down to the uh, open cup and they're allowed to play in both as subs in um, in the invite cup also. So they are able to play in, in, in those games uh, as well. Um, I think that's for UZ, Spike, Later Raid, Senator and Bug. Uh, that's basically the top Five, one, two, three, four, five, yeah. And then the 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 sixth highest rated player is asking who made a big impact in, in the scene after joining it uh, a couple of weeks ago. 
uh, already in the Hello Champs as well. So like uh, by a few weeks, he could have been in the Invite Cup directly as well. Um, I agree. Why? Wh what? Uh, as an admin, I know you you have to stay unbiased and everything, but um, what would be your? I I don't think you're a captain. Or are, are you even playing in it? I'm not sure. Uh, I'm on the team. He was a captain, yeah. All right. So, in your opinion, what do you think is the best when it comes? Because the invite cap is different in the setup. Is that it's two two players per chair. So all the the teams are pretty much rounded like this. But the open cup is on a different system when it comes to the draft, and it's with salary. Would you rather go with six people having, a, let's call an average salary? Or would you go with some high salaries that would try to carry the lower ones? What What's your opinion of what's the best? Um, so I think in the way the like, I, I do want to take it back, right? So like the reason why I like this, the platform, the way it is with the salaries and stuff is because something Paco did a long time ago when I was part of like uh, own well and, you know, global and all that was that we had these development matches and I thought they were awesome right because like it was like two high tier players got to play with three low tier players and that was like the cap each week but there was also the regular matches mm -hmm. so i wanted to be able to come up with a balance where like you know people who are lower tier who want to play ut we don't want to chase them off right the community is like small enough we don't need to chase anybody off we want to try to like incorporate Absolutely. maybe these people will find new people they vibe with maybe they'll learn the game better maybe like all these things are good for the health of the game so in my opinion, I'd like to have the the higher carrying the lower in a lot of ways. And, you know, we did think about like, what what could we do if we did a tier system? Well, the problem with the tier system would be that people who are in that tier would never get picked. Like yeah. people maybe in the lower hundreds, 200s who are considered a quote unquote D tier, they would never get picked. Yeah. Versus like a salary kind of forces captains to be smart with their money and have to make these picks. That's that's a very good point because I I, I, I had a look at the teams created and some play captains they still have like a one hundred salary remaining and stuff like that. So uh, we will go through the the teams now, guys. I've created a, a, a poll on the Discord on the Clutch Cats numbers two thread. Um, I couldn't write more about it, but if you're following the 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 cast, you can understand what what how the poll is. What's the best team setup for you guys? Is it better to have six average salary players, or is it better to take a super high salary and to get him along a super low salary? Um, if you want to, if you want to vote for that, go ahead. Um, because as we're gonna see now, if I look at the teams that have been created, um, it's Basically, two philosophy there. Uh, I'll go like this. Let me change the um, the window. I'll go on like this. There we go. Um, why not force Charlie to be chosen too late now? I, I like the I like the salary like this in the Open Cup, to be honest. So now I am showing you guys the list of teams. Um, so what I will do. Uh, I, I don't want it to be too much spamming about the um, the, the the polls. So what I will do is that I will create one poll per group and you guys will vote for the teams that you think will go through the playoff because you can vote for multiple teams. So instead of going team by team and go with the, the, the their final expected ranking at the end of group stage, I just create one for group A with the six teams in it, one poll for group B with the six teams in it, and you guys vote for the one you think will go to the playoff. Uh, that's three teams, if I'm correct. The first, the top one goes to the semifinal directly, while the two, uh, well, rank number two and rank number three in the group stage they will face each other, and, uh, well, group, uh, number two of group A will face number three of group B. Is that correct, the, the correct layout? Mm-hmm. All right, perfect. So I'll um, let's have a look at the teams now. So I see that Adjo he picked Ramirez, aka AV, he changed his name. Las Nordog, Crispy, and uh, Gizmo, the, uh, not the Gizmo that we know, but another one from MMM, which is a very old school team, I think. Um, yeah. Comet picked his friend Silent and Godai. He picked Clay King, Cassie, and Mac. We see Peter took. Asking, which I think is going to be one of the most watched player in the Open Cup because he's definitely uh, already super, super good after a few weeks of playing this game. Uh, and probably will be paired with Dickfish on defense. So that defense is 
almost champions level. So that's a the very offense good, uh, though not so much. That's the thing you have to be balanced. So the offense will feature Poirot, Spitter, Elite, and Xor. Uh, three of those uh, probably. Uh, I I guess asking and Dickfish will play probably every every maps as they should. Uh, Shiva went with Senator. Josh was also very good. Water Kater, which is, who is very good. Max and Dylan. Dylan, I'm not sure I've seen him play, so I, I can't really rate him. Uh, if Max is available and performs, that's also a very very strong team. Uh, Ghost went went with Nitro Bio Sir I had no idea. Sorry <laughs> of the pronounce. And Jamie, uh, I think yeah, Zakop. So I, I I feel like this team is very you know that's the difference. If you look at um, for instance, a Spitter team, he picked two very high level players, and then mm -hmm. it's a bit more to the lower end. While I feel like on Ghost team, everyone is on the same well not on the same level obviously but it's more balanced basically i don't think they will have one map where they almost play 4v5 without uh, offending anyone um so that's the well, that was the point of my poll just earlier with would you rather go with high, high peak and very low peak or would you rather go with a solid group of all-around player um so that's ghost teams and phaser phaser picked spike of course they are our friends since Many, for many years now, since uh, Sin uh, on clan base. Psycho, who is quite a player as well. He can be very good or a bit very weird. So uh, uh, hopefully for Phaser. One Faisal, millimeter. Yeah, exactly. One Jiski, millimeter. Jiski is actually performing very well. I've seen him doing some yeah. crazy numbers on command, for instance. Um, so if he can manage to keep playing like this, it's going to be good. Arcus and Nestor, who needs to be a bit more active so he catch up uh, with the skill he used to have. Uh, on the next next team, we have Tonfish, Benoob, Scream, Toddy, Trumpy, and Wildcat. That's a very solid core as well. Um, mm. On IB, Horror team, we have Bug, Nanstuko, Saltos, Mjolnir, and Twist. Uh, that's the thing. Horror went with Bug. They are friends for a long time now, but because Bug is 1,100, uh, 1, he had to go with uh, Twist, who was only 200 points, uh, 210 points. So... That's one of the things. Twist will have to play maps. So will Bug be able to uh, out uh, to to balance this out because Twist is not fragging that much. So the, the on the playoffs they don't have to though, right? The they have to play playoffs you can just play your top five. Oh, in playoff I have no idea. In playoffs they can play. There's no restrictions on playoffs. They All can right. play whoever they want playoffs. So okay, that's, good. That's Otherwise my rankings were going to be fucked up. Yeah, that's, that's quite like... a gamble. Then it's it's good to have that opportunity. Uh, you try to go through group stage with with a an, an, an philosophy, and then you just play your five best players. And actually, maybe some of the low ranked player, the low salary player, will shine on the specific maps. And you could you you could just yeah. still use them if they prove themselves to be worth it. Um, uh, Vegito went with uh, Uzi, Tolos, Ramp, Acid, and Eki. Uh, Mudvayne went with... Uh, that's, that's a team that <laughs> people will have a look because... Yeah. <laughs> Mudvayne, Rasta, Ruthless, DM, Bueno, and Farah. That's... Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rasta, the Juke Master. You can guess so... where they are on my rankings. <laughs> Honestly, I will say about Mudvayne's team, I do think it's a mean team in a lot of ways, like if you look at it. Yeah. But if you just like if you did like for some reason decide, hey, I'm gonna remove the personalities from this, it could be a very good team if there was Oh no for sure. Ruthless is actually yeah. quite quite good when he decides to be. Rasta can do the most fucked up run in the world that no one expects, and he can cap that. And Mudvayne yeah. has some crazy game lately. So it's all about keeping everyone in check uh, for, for the game. And maybe they will surprise people. Maybe people, and also what's something you need to keep in mind is that if you underrate, uh, underestimate a team, then you can pick a map where you're not that good yourself thinking that you will win on it anyway, but then you end up losing it. So yeah. it's, um, yeah. while if you're seen as the favorite, then every team will play their best map against you sometimes. No one wants to throw a map. So if you're seen as a direct rival for the playoff spot, people will take their best map to try to beat you on it. So while if you are a bit more of an uh, outsider, maybe people will not pick their best map against you and maybe you can do something there. So that's quite a good thing. Uh, then we have KFC Manager. He picked Dev, KC, Playful, Anti, and Fiber. I like this team a lot. Especially if they manage to go through the group stage, then they have very, very solid five for the playoff. 
And if KC is yeah. active, yes. Yeah, they, of that's, course. He's I, the key there, right? Yeah, like we, we can't really predict that, but I hope that uh, they've signed up to the game to actually try hard for it. Um, and the last team is Hurt with its later rate team, who is also featured in the uh, Invite Cup now that he joined um, Flo. Is it Flo, the, the captain? I don't remember, but Flo's team. Slips. Ah, uh, slips, slips. Yeah, all right, Slips team. Uh, so he's playing with Bear, uh, Pantera, yourself, uh, Knockout, Grass King, and Panda. That's uh, a very good team as well, even though I feel like Grass King and Panda will be very very uh difficult uh it will be very difficult for them to play on north america server as mm -hmm. i expect you guys to play on na server most of the time as you have at least four from it um, um i would say that as far as my team goes we do play a lot of uk because it's kind of unavoidable right so yeah. like if it's you it's if you go to us it's point and click if you go to uk it's like point and click with a delay so yeah we have to practice more in the uk than the us so we're down to do whatever is best for the team uh, FPP opinion. Uh, I can go through the FPP opinion, but uh, well, uh, Loco unpicked. That's surprising. Maybe it's because some people think he's high, too high rated, but Loco. Uh, uh, they're sad -nosed. Yeah, the top oh, three are sad. All oh, right, all right, my bad. Uh, Mendes also should have been picked. Uh, I have no. I, I, I'm sorry, but who's that? PGD Rose. Is it? I, I don't name? know. He's sub only too. But I have no idea who it is. Uh, Stone he was Cold's... in the last one. Okay, well, I, I didn't pay too much. I don't know. Time. Yeah. Uh, Stone Cold no, not picked. I think it's totally not related to the skill, but more about the mental um, resilience, yeah. I would say. Um, maybe people didn't want to go, but I, I would see Stone Cold in that team with uh, Psycho and uh, Prada and Bueno. <laughs> that would be like a very good fit, I think. Uh, I can see someone picking him up before yeah, the season's done. I think if he returns to PG, because I think he's well, yeah. on the Discord. Uh, K2 as a sub only. K2 is obviously very good and a very experienced. If it was an item cup, he would be first pick. Well, one of the first pick for sure. Factor as a mm -hmm. sub also. Lineage, not picked. Interesting. Bravak has played quite a few pugs lately. I'm, I'm wondering why he hasn't been picked. Murder. I feel like murder is unpicked because you don't know which murder you're going to get. The murder who is focused and playing good, or the murder who reconnects to the wrong team and kills his own teammate. The one that I had on my team in that pug that had, you know, 11 frags and 15 minutes of mesmerize. You could get that one too. It's, uh, so. yeah, I, I feel like people who are not consistent are always too much of a gamble in cups. Uh, so if you have a better option with the same salary, you go with someone you know what to expect from. And you don't take the gamble of him having like one of the worst game possible or maybe one of the best, but that coin flip is sometimes a bit too risky in a, a cup setting. Uh, Tolzor yeah. is uh, uh, unpicked as well. Uh, Supreme is unpicked. BB, she doesn't play that much. And if she, yeah, she hasn't been picked by her friend like Aurora and stuff like that, then I understand no one went for, for the pick. And I, I'm not sure she's too upset about not playing with people she doesn't really... Uh, talk with so um i understand that she's unpicked gamer tom the bomb as a sub and mx Treven as a sub i'm sorry guys i have no clue who you are um so what i will That's... do now is uh i will write i will go back to the um uh the discord and i got rankings by the way for the open cup teams oh you, you you've made some it, prediction it, already i i i prepared I, I have a top three. I have a, a worst three, Ooh, and then you know, you know give, I got give, give me give me that uh, while I create the poll on Discord. Okay, yeah, very go. good. So first of all, disclaimer: this is based on the top five for each team only. Not the six guys. Nothing to do with this. This is if they're in the playoffs, top five. This is my, in my opinion, the top three. So I at number one, I actually put IB Horror's team, which is Horror Bug, Dan Stuko, Saltos, and. Milner, uh, I think that that team is going to be super locked down on defense. You you have Bug on Anchor there. You can throw him with Hor or Nansuko. Nansuko, very versatile once he gets going. He averages 40 act typically. He can attack or defend really well. I think that team's going to have good chemistry. I put them at number one. Number two, I put uh, Later Aid's team, which is Later Aid, Bear, Panera, and Tony. Uh, the only reason I didn't put them at number one was because they didn't manage to get a 
NA player as their fifth, that would have been a huge advantage had they been able to pick up uh, a crispy or some other NA player as their fifth. I would have had them at number one. Um, the team's going to be really strong. Uh, Defense-wise, it's hard to say. If, if, ideally, I guess it would be Panera and Tony to allow later aid to attack where he's strongest. But anyway, I have them at number two. And number three, I put uh, Tonfish team, which is Tonfish, Benno, Scream, Tode, and Trampe. I no particular reason. I just see good balance there. I think they'll have good chemistry, and I see them doing well. Uh, as far as the worst teams go... Uh, no surprise, I put the worst team in the cup with Mudvayne's team. Sorry, he's gonna have to find a way to carry that. I I don't know. I all I all I could see was ruthless and Bueno on the same team. I don't see a lot of CTFIQ there. I see really bad comms. I see zero teamwork. Raster grabbing, doing his own thing. I can't see that team beating anyone. I I don't know. I in my opinion, that's the weakest team. Uh, and then after the. Second weakest, I actually put Ghost Team, and this is more because uh, there's a lot of weapons players, I guess, on this team. I don't know their skill level. I don't know how comfortable they're going to be in, with the the CTF maps for IG. Uh, so that's the main reason and I put them at number two for the worst. And the third worst team, I'm sorry, Crispy, but it is your team. Uh, <laughs> Achi, Heavy, Last, Nordog, and Crispy, I just... Not proper balance here. They don't have two proper defenders. They they don't really have any defenders. I guess Achi or Heavy's gonna have to do it. Um, I see issues on attack. I oh, if if Laz can way overperform, I don't know a ton about Laz. Maybe they have a chance, but um, I don't think it's gonna happen for Crispy this season. And then, yeah, those are my bottom three. Teams that I put for potential to contend would be Spitters, because like you said, Asking and Diffish is super solid. He might have to attack, though, as they attack on the team's weak. Shiva's team, they have a really good three with Senator, Jost, and Watercater. Um, I just, I don't like the idea of Shiva being in a top five. That's the reason I didn't have them as a top three team. And then Comet's team, I could see doing something potentially. I think they'll have pretty good teamwork. Clay King... Uh, it can be annoying with his chairing, and he might uh, make some stuff happen. So those are three teams to watch, aside from the uh, top three that I have listed there. Yeah, I think that's... Uh, I, I, as a reminder, guys, this is Ryan's opinion, not... <laughs> yes, <you> yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, I, Don't I get too mad it, if your team wasn't mentioned. <laughs> yeah, he gave, he gave some arguments and the reasoning behind. So uh, if you want to give your opinions, it's always welcome as well. So on the ClutchCast number two uh, thread, I've created two polls. Uh, you can vote for the three teams that will qualify to play off in Group A and in Group B. Uh, obviously, I... Didn't have the time and the motivation to put the full lineup of each team in each vote. Um, so, yeah, I expect you guys to just don't look at the captain only. It's not about who is the best captain. It's about who will qualify and who has the best team. Look um, at the roster. Yeah, I, I well, I didn't want to go and add every single name in the. That is the one top. difficult thing I, I must say with the the top three teams I chose. I didn't realize till after I looked. They're actually all three of them are in the same group, so <laughs> they could theoretically yeah. one of them might not make it to the playoffs because of that. Who knows? But we'll uh, top three make it to the playoffs. Yeah, I think the number one is going through directly to uh, to the 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 semifinal. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, so that, let's wrap it up for the Open Cup now. Uh, I feel like the 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 scheduling is going to start soon. I haven't seen if some of the games have been scheduled yet. I think yeah, they so. Have. I see three games on Sunday. Obviously, we won't be able to cover every single game when it comes to the group stage. But I promise you guys that. If Clutchcast is still on when it comes to the playoff, and uh, that only depends on if you guys like that uh, show or not, then we will talk about playoff for the Open Cup, but we won't go through every single game of the Open Cup because it would be too much to do, and I don't want to have two long episodes. Um, so that, I think the best thing, yeah. I think the best thing they like to do is just the top three matches of the week from invite and open. Yeah, or maybe, like that. maybe that, that could work. That could work for sure. But yeah. you're, you're gonna hear you're gonna hear the comments from people in the chat being like, "Oh my god, did you watch this game? You should have watched this game. Yeah. You just saw this moment and stuff." And then, for like, for sure, and that that's a good transition because I want to uh, close the the cup talk uh, uh, program now, and we'll talk more about Yuchi um, as a general 
general thing. So if you guys have any questions for Knockout or for Ryan or for me, you can write on Twitch right now um, if you have any question. Otherwise, uh, the meme of the weeks, I, I, uh, the memes of the week, I didn't really have time to go on YouTube memes, but... Uh, I, I know... Iron Bean dropped today. That's one. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> I, I see the one about Puzza just front dodging. Uh, this is a slow mo. I am on the right. Uh... Yeah, you can see that, correct? Yeah. So I I don't know. I feel like maybe Puzza was maybe scratching in no. I, I that's the only reason I could think. It was maybe I don't know drinking or smoking a cigarette. So one of his hand was out of the mouth, and he just tried to use the keyboard. So yeah, that's the one. Um, this one, what is it? Yeah, that, uh, I, I don't want to read all those things. Uh, this one, what is this one? Watch, you see. Oh my god, so this one, you know what? This one is oh, I saw this. <laughs> perfect because one of the topic that I want to focus on in, I think it will be probably episode number four, will be like an open question that is, what is high high ctf iq and mm. some um situation about what how, how can you do a good de the decision how the decision making goes when it comes to a different scenario uh that will involve cherry picking that can involve uh deciding on which side to go on different um situations and just an overall talk about what makes a player have an ICTF IQ or sometimes low ICTF IQ. So it's in for at least in two weeks. So I'll have time to work on that. I need to figure out who to invite. I've seen some people <laughs> already, some names already mentioned for that topic because they've done some <laughs> questionable decisions and maybe they want to go through it. Um, so that's an announcement. So that will be a topic that we will discuss because I think it's a good, good thing. A bit like uh, Mind the Game, the podcast from LeBron James when he talks about um, actual basketball strategy and what goes behind the, the process of the reasoning and everything behind. So we will work on, on um, I will work on, on that soon. Um, people are getting, uh, all right. Uh, so for the memes, yeah, uh, I didn't really have time to do a selection. So I just rose through it. Of course, if you want to watch them, uh, this this channel also uh, always have a lot of uh, good content um and to close up with the um this episode uh we can have a look at the ut99 clips from last week uh i feel like those ones are not too interesting um all right so we have extreme who posted one clip uh one week ago let's have a look Interesting. Interesting. Sound pack. That's a very nice. Oh no! Yeah, that's uh, once every couple months or so for extreme type of run. <laughs> Never on my team. Well, I hope nice we will have there, a few though. like this in the coming cup. <laughs> <laughs> so that's extreme very nice run there uh, i feel like playing alongside finals and myself helped him uh, get some of the command skill in his blood um finals then posted something on klondike let's have a look it's very dark sorry but that's the quality of the video oh he's holding shot it it <laughs> doesn't go for the return <laughs> Typical final. Yeah, yeah. It's better to have another monster kill than returning the flag. I, I, I recognize my teammate there. Um, Tom Fish posted something called Flick. Let's have a look. The fish. Oh, the quality. The of fish man. Ah, oh, there we go. So that's on Rune. He's attacking from my right. Kills Ramirez. Gonna grab. I haven't seen any of those clips, so it's uh, new to me. Huh? I was about to say, I hope it wasn't that kill we just saw. <laughs> <laughs> the end of the video. <laughs> okay, so he's escaping on the. Yeah, that's a nice kill on the island. Ooh, oh, nice. I like oh, this whip. one. I like this one. Oh, Do does yeah, he have the clutch good. kill? No, is it returned? Oh, it's a cap. Is it a cap? Is it a cap? And it if was. They don't oh, cap, it's all ruined. And it was an overtime cap, so that's good. I'll give it a fire. Yeah, yeah. Nice, oh, I'm nice. not by Tonfish. I can give you a fire. Fuck you. 
terrible clip. <laughs> uh, <laughs> another rune clip by Ognado. I see some uh, uh, disconnect warp. Uh, let's see how it, what was it. Two and two and one, one jump tie. Ah, uh, we can hear Stone Cold's voice. Everyone missing. One left. One right. Two right. right. Pro grabbing. Got pro. One more. I'm falling back left. Okay. Lucky then, guys. What the fuck is that run? <laughs> All right. What? Oh. The cutting off. What oh, the fuck? Oh. I got the mid. I got the mid. Come on. Come on. Where is everyone? On high left. What the mid. fuck? Base. Above you. Above this you. is only our trolling and everyone just choking on him. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. He's in the fucking thing. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> I was out. It was not enough time. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know troll. what? I think you should add the Benny Hill uh, theme song on that. And uh, yeah, yeah, that I agree. Walk. <laughs> Is that asking? Was making sure like seventy five percent of the video. Very true. I don't know. No one could hit him. Maybe he was warping and we can't really see him from his point of view. Um, next, we have uh, Steel who posted. A, oh, it, this got 15 fires. So let's see. I don't think I watched this one. Anfra. Uh, he grabbed Mudvayne and B.O. Managed to grab. Nice switch in there. He's going for the middle eye. Oh, that's a good one. That's a very nice run. Oh, that's an amazing run. And in a very close yeah, game beautiful. also. And that's that's when you pray that the, the base is clear. Oh, yeah, he would have been upset. That's a very good run. Uh, going from mid eye is difficult. So well, oh damn, flow steal on the glory. That was intentional. It's just cap of my life, <laughs> of course. <laughs> I was slightly salty. Yeah, I was expected. Um, yeah, okay, miss. <laughs> Miss post memes even on UT99 clips. Uh, Who's that? Psycho. Okay, I have to watch it. Uh, even though I blocked him. Uh, well, I can... Okay, like this. So he's defending on... Uh, on the uh, one millimeter for sure. Oh, okay. Well, that's... Yeah, all right. I, oh, that's okay, what? yeah. I'll give it... Wowzer. Uh, okay, bro. Uh, Dev. Okay, <laughs> Dev with nine fires. Let's see what, what was that. Dev back from retirement for this cup. Very dark clip, obviously taken on the demo stuff. Uh, is it a monster kill on Dooku that you wanted to show? No, I hope it's better than that. A monster kill cover. Nice double. Okay. Okay. Ah, okay, that's clutch. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that's clutch. That's nice good one. cover. That's a good one. One in main? I oh, got him. Yeah, it's a good one. Uh, yeah, at least the gun oh. isn't showing. Now that's mine. I'll show you mine, but uh, yeah, it's spawn control on that one. Excellent spawn control. It would have been a lot better had you guys actually <laughs> had the flag. Or do you have the flag? You do. Okay. Just yeah, yeah. Uh, come okay. On. You you think I, I wasn't sure? It doesn't show. <laughs> How come it doesn't show under the flag? It was the. Uh... I think I. I think grabbed it. Up. Yeah, I miss grabbed it. Went I and I just. Uh, yeah, right that was right. No, 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 no. I would not do that without the flags being taken. <laughs> what? Especially. I thought you were just pulling a Sedino or something there. <laughs> after 40 seconds, that would be a little bit too <laughs> too much. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's, uh, I think, uh, yeah, 14, almost one, one from the dominating, but, uh, obviously it's, well, the spawns were, uh, very favorable to me. Um, so that's, that's the end of the, um, top few clips of the week. Um, guys, thank you very much for joining Ryan Knockout. Um, yeah. I couldn't have done that episode without you guys, so I hope you will be there if i need you again for uh coming episodes uh probably... yeah absolutely and i got something uh i actually want to say one thing real quick yeah because i won't be a part of the conversation next week when we talk about the top five but i did want to give my input maybe sway some voters out there uh for the u.s side at least uh i've been around a long time just as long as ryan and stuff and one person that's probably not whatever probably some people might not consider the top, number one spot but some person who has actually always changed my game every time I played with them would be Fear. He would be in my top five for sure. I and think he will be mentioned. At some point. Fear will be mentioned 100%, uh, I believe. Yeah. Um, my, my knowledge of the NA uh, community from older uh, years is non-existent. I was only on Clumbase. 
and I didn't play the I think I I Pug? No, what's the, what was the name of I Pug? Uh, yeah. what well, clan based? Well, that was no. Well, no, that no. was one of the later communities. No, no, for the NA side. For the NA side, it was called IPUG. Oh no! What At was one the point, name? yes. Okay, yeah, yeah. but so far yeah, back, we're going. The owned, yeah. owned well thing and uh, well, uh, oh, yeah. that yeah. was with new nets. I was not playing, so obviously my knowledge of that era won't be there. So I will ask for the NA people input for sure. But I feel like fear is going to be named for the NA side. Um, yeah, he was on my list. I had him at number one, actually. Yeah. And I, I'm at number one too. It will be. It will. There will be. I'm not sure if we will go with a poll because I just want to get some of the uh, some people in uh, inputs about it without having it to make it a like a, a big uh, contest because obviously the top 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 player from an era is definitely not the same as the newer era. So um, no, um, we will try to keep it. I, it's not uh, with the best of all time or whatever. It's more about giving uh, some spotlight to uh, old names and some new names as well, uh, without it being like uh, there's no middle middle to one to win in this uh, kind of talk. So um, yeah, that yeah. I will need to work on that for next week. I hope I have time. I will try to make the episode on Thursday. Unfortunately, I'm tra well, not unfortunately, but. I am traveling tomorrow, so that's why I had to uh, reschedule the podcast for tonight a bit later than usual. We still managed to get at some point 50 viewers, which is the same amount as the first uh, episode. Not bad for this time. I thought it might drop quite a bit. Yeah, that, but... exactly. But people will watch the VOD and stuff. Uh, so guys, if you have feedbacks on everything, please, please send them so we can improve uh, the content of the episodes um i will work on episode three which will feature the top players of each country of all time and did psg i mean your band uh Madvin. uh and <laughs> and uh, for the fourth episode uh it will be a bigger debate on what's ictf iq and what's a low and what's a high ictf iq uh so tons of content for you guys i hope you enjoyed Thanks, Ryan. Thanks, Knockout. Thanks, everyone who voted in the poll. Uh, if you're watching the VOD uh, and you want to give me feedbacks later, feel free to do so. Thank you, everyone. And that's the end of the Clutchcast. I will play one last time the, the, the audio that uh, K2 made because it's so good. And that will end with the cast. Thank you, guys. Let's go. Brick fucking wall. <laughs> Thank you all. Thank you. Take care, guys. Yeah, bye-bye. Welcome to episode two of the Clutch Cast. Tonight's agenda is filled to the brim with analytics from previous games, predictions for upcoming matches, we'll discuss which group is more stacked than the other, and we'll talk about the teams in the ICTF Open Cup. Guest interviews with Helta and Knockout Dad. Here is your host of the evening, Mr. Jerome of the Insane Fragging Squad, Noah Sue.